What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use proportional editing in order to add randomness to objects. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move our default dog out of the way. And then what we wanna do is we wanna do a shift A and we're gonna add a mesh. And so what I wanted to show you is something that I think a lot of people don't really know anything about. Um, so if we toggle into edit mode, so we're just gonna hit tab, and then we're gonna subdivide this object. We'll go ahead and subdivide it by 10 and then maybe by another two, just so we have some geometry in here to mess with. But a lot of people know that you can use proportional editing in Blender in order to do exactly that, right? You can turn on proportional editing and then when you move an object, instead of it just moving one point like this, it'll proportionally affect things based on their distance from the point you have selected um, inside of your 3D space, right? So pretty valuable, especially if you're creating hills or something like that. One thing people don't know though, is in addition to having this one option in here for your smooth fall off, there's a bunch of other fall off types. So for example, if I was to do a constant, and then move this up. Basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna move everything that's inside of this circle up at a constant distance, right? So you could use this to create like plateaus or something like that. So there's a few different fall off types in here, but the one that I'm interested in is actually the random fall off type. And so when you select the random fall off type, what that's gonna do is that's going to randomly move objects um, based on whatever direction that you move in here. So like for example, if I was to hit Y, I could randomly set this moving up and down. And notice how the larger I make that circle, the more geometry is going to be affected. So you can use this to kind of add some random up and down in here if you don't want to use a displace modifier. And this is a quick, easy way to do that. Um, so that would work for other shapes as well. So say that we added a UV sphere like this. And I tabbed in here and let's go ahead and just select this one. Um, not only would this work with the move, but it'll also work with scale. And so notice how, as I scroll this down, this might only affect part of our sphere, right? But it's adding randomization to whatever movement we have in here. So we could use this to kind of like randomize a shape really quickly um, without having to mess with modifiers or anything like that. Now, a lot of the time you are gonna wanna use modifiers because um, they're non-destructive, but if you just wanna add a little bit of jitter to a shape like this, that's an easy way to do that. Now, one other thing to note about this is not only can you do this with a singular object like this, let's say that we were to create a quick array. We'll just do a negative 1.5 right here, but then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply this in order to make this real geometry. And I just need to tab in here, do an F3 to separate by loose parts. We do wanna make sure that we get all the object origins on each one of these objects. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to object, set origin to center of mass volume. Um, so that's gonna set each individual object's origin to the middle point. That's important because when we edit this, it's using that origin point to figure out what it's gonna edit. But if we were to select, uh, let's go with this central cube right here. I'm gonna toggle on proportional editing. Well, notice how if I was to move this up like this, right now nothing's happening, but if I scroll up, Notice how that movement starts getting randomly applied to the other cubes that are in here. So I can use this to randomly move objects relative to how close they are to that central point. And notice how I can adjust how far that is by scrolling my mouse wheel up and down. So not only can you do this with the move function, you can also do this with the scale function. So if I set this to scale on the Z axis, notice how this is going to randomly apply a scale to these objects like this. So there's a lot of interesting things you can do with that um, inside of Blender. So you can use this to randomly scale objects. You can also scroll to adjust the sphere that's setting how strongly that's applied to everything else. So that proportional editing in Blender is actually really powerful. All right, so I'll link to a full video I did on proportional editing, but this is a feature I thought deserved its own video. Leave a comment below, let me know if you've used this or how you might use this in the future. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.